Hey guys, Yu Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. I've been getting a lot of comments recently asking me uh, to show some, to show how to play mech. <laughs> and I have no idea how to play mech, so I figured I'd do a bit of ladder games, do some research, see if it's really the hardest style in StarCraft 2. And first game I play, we have uh, a dirty cheeser here. So I'm gonna have to make some reactions early game, but I'm still gonna grab my command center. And I snuck my SUV behind his uh, main here so I can run back in. I've been doing this a little lately just so you can keep the Reaper at home. I think it's a pretty nice way to go complete. about it. Complete. If you send the Reaper across the map, then you don't have anything to defend your command center. So you don't want that. But yeah, anyways, so I'm opening up with a mech style this game. And I'm not familiar with it. I've probably played like maybe 2,000 Terran games and like 30 of those are mech so a really really small amount of mech games I also tried out a reactor first build this game um, and that's why I don't have too many units right now normally I have a reaper and a marine so this is a little uncomfortable but you just have to keep in mind that he did open up with a super aggressive pool so I don't think our SCV count is that bad yeah we're still up five workers right at this moment and it does give us a little more marine production so I'm not sure if I like this opening or not I might just go back to marine after reaper uh, the reason I was trying this is because you can go to marine and then it's a little harder for them to scout you with overlord speed so two marine then swap the factory and I also wanted to try out this other thing because I've been playing a lot of this like three or five roach rush builds and one of the main problems is if they ignore your bunker and go past it they can just go up your ramp which is quite annoying so I'm trying out a bunker here near the ramp so that if they do run past then you can just um, you know defend from there you don't have to pull anybody out of the bunker. And that way you don't have to lose any SCVs. You can see here that I'm going to lose a couple SCVs, building a command center and stuff. And uh, I have to wait for my tank. And I'm losing some marines as well. So I do like that bunker by the ramp. But I got to figure out a couple details. Obviously it was a little bit late. So we defend that. Normally, whenever they do this 5 Roach Pressure, they're not going to be making any units behind it. Otherwise, they wouldn't uh, have sacrificed all their Roaches for workers. So I'm not really too worried about any sort of follow-up all-in. So we're going to grab our 3rd Command Center. We're not really making any units. And we're going to go into uh, Banshees. Which I think might be the strongest way to transition if you're going to play mech. Um, the Banshees, they're kind of like Void Rays, right? Uh, against Zerg, where you can force them to make certain units to defend your opening, and then that helps you transition into the, the units you, you also want for defense. So we're going to go Banshee, that's going to force him to make some Hydralisk, or maybe make some Corruptors or Muta, which would be even worse. Uh, and then we can go into lots of ground army. So Banshees are the first stage. You can see he's getting his uh, his layer. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So all I know is uh, I need two factories next. <laughs> That's step two. Now here you can see me swapping the barracks over to the tech lab. This is because I saw that overlord chilling and I wanted to make him think we were probably playing bio, which he definitely falls for. <laughs> so starting the stim, getting some marines over there, I actually put the marines under the overlord to the right so that I force him to see the stim. Like I forced him to see this. So very nice. 
you can see he's getting uh, melee upgrades and armor upgrades. A little bit of miscontrol there. But honestly, not a huge deal. The main objective of these Banshees is not even to get damage done. It's going to be to um, deny the fourth base for as long as possible. So if you if you play against someone who goes fast double evo, then they're going to have a late layer. And if they don't have really good creep spread, it's going to be hard for them to get some vision over at their fourth uh, to take that. So you can kind of abuse that by playing uh, these Banshee openings with mech. So we're up to 3 factory, I'm assuming this is how you do it, <laughs> although I think you're supposed to get 2 tech labs, not 2 reactor. Well, I know for sure you're supposed to get 2 tech lab. I think in this game I was uh, transitioning one of the buildings like it was bio, but you're, you're definitely supposed to get a tech lab. And then behind that you're supposed to get 2 armories, which I forget. Amazing, I know. <laughs> this is this is what it takes to play the hardest style in the game, guys. <clears throat> you just have to make sure to do all the buildings in the wrong order, but make sure you, you get the best mech units. So now I'm going to get some upgrades. The Rotaries is finishing up for the Banshees. And I have three Banshees now, I think, which is a pretty good amount to deny the fourth and be annoying. And then... We also have the blue flame coming in, which is going to be really nice because he still thinks we're playing bio. So, so I have about, I have a lot more Hellions than you're supposed to have because of that reactor mistake. So I think we have like 12 Hellion right now. And we're going to hit a little bit of a blue flame timing here. Just kind of harass his creep a little bit. Harass his Ling Bane that he made, thinking we're playing Bio. And uh, and also try to keep denying his fourth. Because if we can if we can keep the Zerg here on three base, or even just four base with low drones, then we're in an advantageous position. We don't really need to be keeping up with them at all. We just need to, you know, be annoying and not die on three base is the goal. So Banshee's on one side here. We did get a Spore Crawler over here, which is a smart thing to do. But Hellion's on one side, cleaning up creep. He's really scared right now, he's waiting for his roaches. Obviously, you can't engage this many Hellions with Ling Bane. So we're gonna take full advantage of that. Push his creep all the way back. He does try to push me here. And he almost got me, but once we get into a good position off creep, we're going to kill so many Ling Bane, so he just decides to back up. And now he has like no creep, and we are actually ahead in supply, <laughs> which is pretty crazy if you think about it, playing mech and we're ahead 30 supply. Banshee being annoying again. Like these Banshees give you so much value. If you're playing mech and you're not opening up Banshee, I don't know man. Like if you if you open Battle Cruiser, you're kind of opening yourself up, in my opinion, to a lot of annoying stuff that Zerg can do to you. Like suddenly you force some corruptors, and now you gotta deal with the uh, the corruptor ability, killing your buildings, and they're probably going to go into faster roaches because battle cruisers usually lead to mechs. So they kind of know what you're doing. Whereas with banshees, you know, you get so much counterplay. So really, really like the banshees with mech. Now from here, I really need to get into some more factories. You can see my money is actually super high as well because. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and we're having a lot of fun with these Hellions. But I think the idea, I mean there's a couple ideas. I think one idea you can play is you can sacrifice these Hellions at some point and then just build up to the ultimate army of Thor tank, maybe some air units as well, and then do a big push. 
or maybe even tech into battle cruiser at the end and then i think another idea you can go for is just a really big push here with the the, the hellions uh turned into hellbats so i've been trying that in a couple of games but in this game i'm going to try for the hellion harass instead upgrade complete And part of the reason for this is you guys are always asking me for uh, for games where I don't demolish people. And the problem is that I really like demolishing people. <laughs> so usually I just try to end these games as fast as possible. And what I've noticed is uh, a lot of these streamers are um, playing these slow methodical games when they're way ahead. So I'm giving it a go. You know, we're up 30 supply with mech. We're, uh, we're crushing. The game's pretty much over. But now... We're, uh, we're gonna play with our food a little bit, like everybody else. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, I think it's just kind of nice when you're learning the style. Like, if you're if you're in, uh, let's say, honestly, any of the lower leagues, or you're learning a new style in your Masters, so, like, Bronze through Diamond, or you're learning a new style in Masters, then what you should try and do is force late games if you want to work on late game. Like, even if you're winning, you can still learn quite a bit from these uh, games where you're ahead. So that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm starting to sacrifice these Hellions. And oh my god, Blue Flame is insane. Look at this. <laughs> I had some barbecue last night, actually, but it doesn't really compare to this. Much better. Your forces are under attack. Add on. So, trading these out for drones, really, really annoying for Zerg. This is actually so frustrating when you're playing Zerg. Somebody just running around with their Hellions, killing all your drones. Even when you have units in position. Now, here was actually a tactical decision. We decided to, uh, to sacrifice these three Thors. To, um, uh, put him in a comfortable position so we can learn. Yes, that's, that's what it was. Now he does get a, quite a few tanks here, which is really nice. I should have had some turrets up, and I definitely should have had some Thors earlier. And I actually, I think I would have had Thors in time, but I had a nasty Upgrade supply block complete. there, like a minute ago. So these Thors were a little bit late, but not too problematic. We do want to add in a bunch of Thor to our composition anyways. And here is actually a pretty hard part for mech, I think. Like, I mean, there's not there's not a lot of, lot of hard parts for mech, but I think this is one of them. Is you trying to take a fifth base because on four base it's it's so easy. There's there's pretty much no way for Zerg to break you, except for maybe a very small period around when you take your third. Um, but once you're trying to take a fifth, you're really spread out. So what you can see that I've done is uh, build a ton of planetaries and a bunch of turrets and we're basically just hunkered down here but yeah that fifth base is really hard so if you're if you're a zerg player watching this you should definitely try to take advantage of pushing the terran's fifth base when they're playing mech now this guy's trying like the vibe strategy the uh the old transition into 100 meter list. so we're gonna do a push here And this kind of puts him in a difficult position because he wants to be harassed with the Mutalisk, but he kind of needs that army supply and units as well. And we're totally fine, you know, all in here with our mech units. He's gonna have a hard time cleaning up my my fourth base if I throw down a bunch of turrets. Plus these Thors are gonna pop out, so it's not too too easy for him to fully base trade, I think. So I saw he pulled back the Muta. Now this is a very dangerous position because if I keep pushing and I'm a little bit too reckless, we could easily die here. So what I'm trying to do instead is just sit back, let him come to me, and in the meantime you saw I threw down the fifth base. Try to target the Ravagers here with the tanks. You can see one of them is targeting the uh, the Roach at the back. So I'm trying to prevent that as much as possible. 
Mineral field depleted. So very, very weird situation. We took out a base. He killed a bunch of my SCVs in the main. Your forces are under attack. But we were quite far ahead, so we have a nice bank here. Now here you might be thinking, Hu Shang, why are you making uh, like 20 turrets in the main? Isn't that kind of a bad thing to do? Yes, but we're playing mech, so it's fine. We don't care about minerals, and I want to show you guys this style is super easy. <laughs> so, you know, if, you want, if you're struggling with TVZ, you're playing bio, then you might want to give mech a go. Your MMR might go up uh, a few thousand MMR. So here's a nice play by him. He snuck by. I didn't see him coming till the very end there with the sensor tower, but fortunately for us, his units aren't air units, so he's going to have a hard time getting out of that position. And so the plan now is just to kind of pinch these guys. Here I'm trying to poke him. See if he's on hold position. He was not on, or he was on hold position, so it didn't work. So inching forward here. I don't want to just rush in because then he's going to jump on me and it'll be a inefficient trade. So I do want to force it to be a good trade. Your forces are under attack. And for some reason I don't have any Thors. I was sure I built like six Thors. But yeah, now we only have one Thor and he's stuck as well. So I have to retreat here. And we do end up losing uh, quite a few tanks there. But now we have some Thors in the way, I'm going to rebuild that command center. We still have a fair bit of minerals on these bases, so we're not under a ton of pressure. And I think now it's time for another push. We've kind of been chilling. He killed a base. He traded some units for it, so now we want to get on the counterattack. Normally you'd wait for Max here, by the way. I just want to point that out. Normally you'd wait for Max here, but... Because I can read the game, like seeing how many units he has and he's when he's pushing and stuff, it's we can tell that he's not maxed. So in this case, it's it's totally fine. But if he was maxed, then it would make a lot more sense for us to wait like a minute or two and then push. Yeah, as soon as we drop that scan, I'm like, all right, the game's over. <laughs> this guy's this guy's no units. He's put it all into Mutas. One big Muta Hail Mary. And those are some nasty shots as well. You can see we're pushing really, really slow here. And this is something I usually stress a lot in my lessons with um, around Platinum, Diamond, Terran players, is you really need to be careful pushing. You don't want to move all your tanks at once. And you don't even want to move uh, large groups of tanks at once. You really want to be moving, you know, two, three, four tanks. And uh, that's about it. Because if you move too fast, that's when they're going to engage you. And we want them to come to us. It's You're going to get a much better engagement if they're coming to you. So he's trying to counterattack us here with the Mutas, which is a little bit risky because now he encourages us to move out on the map and uh, and pressure him a little bit more, but he is denying that base, which is nice for him. So I'm just waiting to secure that fifth and then get my Thors over to this army. So I'm not going to do anything too aggressive with that middle army. So we're inching forward, but again, we're just trying to encourage him to come to us. Now he does decide to go here, which actually surprised me. I did not expect him to go there because we weren't really threatening anything just yet. But he does decide to go, and uh, I wouldn't say this is a mistake <laughs> we were going to get him either way, but um, really, really nice engagement for us there at the end. So. Yeah, mech guys, amazing, amazing playstyle. I think I'm gonna be playing this a lot more actually. It's uh, you know, my hands getting a break, both of them really, less APM, less stress. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, 
And, uh, you know, while you're here, maybe check out the YouTube memberships. Check out my coaching. And with that, I think that's it for this video. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.